Good day, Yogi Clan. I hope this video finds you doing well. I just want to start off by apologizing. My audio didn't work for this at all. So we are just going to wing it. Today, I'm going to show you how to bleed a master clutch. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take off this cover right here. And then you're going to grab some supplies. I use Prestone Dot 4 brake fluid. And I use some 60 milliliter syringes, as you can see here. I also got some clear plastic tubing to attach to the syringe. Then took two bolts out to remove this cover to expose the bleeding nipple. All right, there it is, that little green cap on there. Go ahead and pop that off. Set it up on top so you don't lose it. And you can go ahead and test fit your hose on there. Now you wanna make sure this is a fairly snug fit. This is the same hose I use for brake bleeding, but this nipple's a lot smaller than your brake nipple. So I'll end up having to get a second piece of hose that was smaller diameter. And actually I got lucky and it fit inside the one I use for the brake lines, but it made a nice perfect snug fit on the fitting itself. Cause you're gonna be pushing this fluid through with a little bit of pressure. So you wanna make sure it doesn't squirt all over the place and make a mess. So just like my other videos on brake bleeding, you're gonna go ahead and get a full syringe of fluid, put it on the bleed nipple, take a small open-ended wrench. Yeah, here I use pliers, but I switched to a wrench in a minute. So I'll strip out the nut. Go ahead and open that up and then start pushing fluid through. I would suggest on a 60 milliliter syringe to push 30 milliliters through at a time. If you wind up doing the entire syringe as I did here in this first shot, it winds up filling the master cylinder a little bit too full and you don't want to overflow that master cylinder because that's going to get all of your paint and make a mess. And dot four, trust me, dot four fluid and paint do not mix very well. If you don't get that off right away, it's going to eat away at your paint job. If you do, just use a little bit of warm water and a rag to wipe it off. See? Look at that, filled it up a little too full. So I have two syringes. I use the first one to push the fluid in and the second one to pull the fluid out. And the important thing is to note on your clutch and also the front brake master cylinder, there are two little holes at the bottom. You don't wanna to suck too much fluid that you open and expose those holes to air or you're gonna get some air bubbles in your, in your brake line, in your lines at some point. So get it down to the bottom, but leave a little bit in there. And back to the other side to start pushing through a second syringe. In total, I pushed three syringes through. And during this exercise, I figured out half a syringe per push is, it works out just perfect. Get your reservoir about three quarters of the way full and make sure you don't make a mess. Now be sure not to push too hard. Get that nipple opened up fairly good so you don't have to push too hard. If you do push too hard, you're gonna squirt it out the master cylinder and make a big mess. So gentle but firm and steady consistent push is the key to all of this. You don't wanna go too hard and you don't wanna go too much. And each time you do it, make sure you open and fully close that bleed nipple. Also make sure your syringe is vertical so you can tap on it and get any air bubbles that may be in there out before you start pushing fluid through. Also on the top side, when you're sucking that fluid out, take, take a minute and gently squeeze either your brake or your clutch, if you have a hydraulic clutch, depending upon which side you're bleeding. Gently squeeze it a little bit and any air bubbles that are trapped in that master cylinder will also come out the top. So the whole goal of this is to push the air out the top. We got it all done. We're taking apart our hoses. You can see there, I had the one hose that fit in the other. And once your fluid is clear, it took me about three syringes through to get it clear. Then I went ahead and topped it off. You can see there's a little flat spot there on the right hand side. That, you go get it topped off so that is just barely covered. You can also look at the sight window on the side to make sure you have the right button. From that point forward, just put on your rubber boot, boot put on your cap, wipe everything off make sure it's nice and clean i would suggest wash washing your bike after you are done to get any residue materials off of there go ahead and put your screws in tighten down your cap and you are done so thank you yogi clan i hope this video helps